Welcome to Sprinkle with Hope podcast. This is Jason, and today we are going to be talking a little bit about fear and what fear is, how we can overcome it. Uh, Shane, would you like to add anything to what fear is? Yeah, some people think that fear is always a bad thing, but we're going to talk about that fear is also a good thing. Welcome to the Sprinkled with Hope podcast. Welcome to Sprinkled with Hope. This is Shane Valor. And this is Jay Valor. And today we are going to talk about fear. We talked a little, yeah, yeah, we talked a little bit about fear uh, last time in our last episode. Uh, We just wanted to dive a little bit deeper into what fear is and how we can overcome it and just things around that. Um, I had an interesting Um, quote that I wanted to share it it says the fear we don't face becomes our limits let me just mention that again the fear we don't face becomes our limits so I think uh, often when we don't face our fear that becomes our limits if we're afraid of heights and we never go up high on a mountain or something then we're setting our limits right there yeah I like that I got a, a definition here, uh, Shane, what, uh, what fear is. And it, fear is an emotion induced by perceived danger or threat. So you, you, it's a perceived thing, right? It's not, it may or may not be actually something physical or harmful, but it's something that we perceive to be a danger or a threat. Yeah, that's really good. You know, I think sometimes when people think about fear, they think fear is always a bad thing. And I think we would both agree that fear is healthy. It's it's important. Um, you know, it, it also depends on how we handle our fear or how it handles us. That's really what we're talking about today. Yeah, and I got, uh, you know, I guess the inverse of fear, right, is faith. And, and uh, so, you know, what is faith? And faith is a feeling or a conviction or belief that something is true or real not contingent upon reason or justification. And I, I kind of like that because it kind of hit the points of what uh, faith is, which is the opposite of fear. Um, and then I got a quote here by Bob Proctor, and a lot of people might know who he is, but uh, he said this about faith and fear. He said, faith and fear both demand you believe in something you cannot see, you choose. And I really liked that because it, it left the choice up to you, right? Like you have that choice to either choose faith or fear. Yeah, that's great. Who who's the quote from? Uh, that was Bob Proctor. Bob Proctor, that's great. That's really good. You know, I, I think when I think about fear, some of the things I think about are when when our heart starts beating a little faster and our yeah. blood pressure increases a little bit and the muscles are all tightening and we might sweat a little bit. That's all healthy, right? it really is like we are going to all have fear that you and I, Jason, you and I, we have fear. We even had fear in starting this podcast. Well, what if nobody listens to us? Certainly that could, could have held us back, but you know, we feel like our message is meant to be heard and we just want to share that with everybody. And so we, we've learned how to push through fear and um, you know, in some cases it holds us back. Why don't you remind remind everybody what you talked about a little bit last night with yeah. the, the slides? <laughs> yeah, I talked a little bit uh, last night about, um, y- you know, this slide that at a water park that uh, we went to uh, at a very young age. And I was really always afraid to go down. Um, and I let that roll me. And, you know, once I got over that and pushed through that fear and said, I'm not going to let it limit me to the amount of fun that I can have. And now it's, it's just, it is one of the funnest rides that I have been on in my life. And I'm, it's hard to think back to go before I was going on this ride. Now I, I love it so much. I can't think <laughs> of my life without. Yeah. 
So what do you think, what do you think you were afraid of? What stopped you from going on it? Um, honestly, you know, I think oftentimes we fear uh, how we might change or change ourselves. Right. And that, I think we're more afraid of that. Yeah. That it, it might change us in some way. And so we, we, we maybe hold back that ability to actually change ourselves. And, and I think that's kind of a crucial point in, as we discuss fear, right. That we are, we shouldn't be afraid of change. We should be able to go ahead and push forward and move through that to be able to change ourselves, our emotions, our physical being, our spiritual being, whatever it is that we want to change. Yeah, that's good. You know, as I was thinking about this, uh, I, I, I thought about there's really four things that I found that dictate the actions that we take. You know, we'll talk a lot about doing things in all of our podcasts that we have to take action for everything whether that be if we want to have more hope or faith, be, be kinder, anything, or, or remove some fear from our lives. So there's four things that I found um, that we can do. Freeze, fight, flight, or fright. So fee, freeze sorry, uh, is when we stop what we're doing and we decide what we're going to do next. Fight is when we just deal with the threat directly and we hit it head on. Flight is when we work around it or run away from it and fright really is we stop we do nothing uh we're we're kind of just stuck and we don't know what to do i want to get a little bit personal right now and share a story about jason and i when when i was eight years old about eight years old and jason i think you were just over one you just learned how to walk so you didn't know a lot about what was going on but this really has um, caused a lot of fear in my life. So hopefully it's okay if I share this. It's a really personal story to me. And if I get a little bit emotional, <laughs> you know why. Um, our mom was the janitor of our school that we were going to. And one, one afternoon after school, she was cleaning the school. And Jason and I were out in the back behind the school. And suddenly I hear a gunshot. And it really scared me. I was only eight years old. Like, what is going on? Somebody's shooting at us. You know, we there was a fence all the way around the the school. So um, I I vividly remember running to the back of the school, turning around, <clears throat> and looking at Jason as he was pretty much oblivious to what was going on. And he really didn't know. And and freeze, fight, flight, or fright. Even at that age, I, I just vividly remember I have to fight. I have to fight through this fear. And if I don't run and get him, something tragic might happen. And I'll never forget the feeling that I had come over me, my whole body. And I now I know it's adrenaline. And my body was just saying, Shane, you have to go get him. Uh, you don't want to see what's going to happen. And so I ran out there. I grabbed you, Jason, ran back in. And by the time I got back to the door, mom was just beside herself. She was screaming and everything. The next thing I re remember is that I, I was sitting on the front of the school and and there were police all over and I ended up going to court and that, that was a scary thing as well, just because of my age, they wouldn't let anyone in the courtroom. So I sat there facing a man who had attempted to kill both of us. And boy, if that's not scary for an eight year old, I don't know what is. And, you know, I've reflected on that a lot throughout my life. It's been a long time since that happened. And I've thought a lot about fear and for a long time, I let fear dictate what I would do every single night. I would, even after we moved to Utah, I would go around the house and make sure all the doors were locked and all the windows were shut tight. It just, fear got me. And, um, you know, that it's just something that I've had to deal with 
And I, I still do believe that a little part of me is still afraid of that experience, but it has taught me uh, something about fear and something about what you just talked about, which is faith. You know, I, I believe that we were protected that day. And uh, again, I'll never forget when I was standing in the doorway thinking, I have got to fight through this and just ran and grabbed you. So hopefully it was okay to share that. Um, you know, again, like I said, it's, it's been something that has really uh, affected my life. Um, but I don't let it stop me from living life. I certainly could, but I don't. Um, so hopefully that shows you that Jason and I are human just like everybody else. And we have fears that we have to overcome. And uh, certainly this was one for me. Yeah, thank you for sharing, Shane, that, uh, and, uh, you know, as you and I were talking about this particular instance, something that came to, to my mind is, you know, that, that fear is a, a learned thing, right? Like we, it's not something that we're born with. We, we uh, learn that fear from our parents, from our, from a young age, obviously I was one year old. Yeah. And <laughs> something that I was particularly. And so um, it, I was not fearful at that point. So fear is a learned thing. The other thing that I wanted to talk about, um, going back to kind of fear and faith, the stronger emotion will always win. So if we have more fear than we have faith, that things will be hard, then fear wins. And we allow it to win because we're, we're choosing that emotion to win over us. And I think we have think about that too right like we don't want to let fear overcome us we'd rather have faith more faith that things will work out and be better and we will push through those those difficult times that we're fearful like you know the this particular instance that you shared with us um and pushing pushing through that and not letting fear kind of run or dictate your life uh, I had a cool analogy I wanted to share with you, Shane. Yeah, go ahead. Our, our listeners. And it, so if you think about a potato and an egg, and we think about boiling water, what is the difference, right? We have the same substance, boiling water. Mm -hmm. We put a potato in boiling water, and it softens. We put an egg in boiling water, and it hardens. So we have the ability to choose which is that which is it that we want. Um, I kind of liked that analogy, uh, and you can use it in many different circumstances. But I kind of really liked that and wanted to share it. Yeah, that's great. That that's true. I mean, potato and an egg go in the same pot, and they go exactly opposite. You know, going back to what you were saying, that fear really is um, learned. I had a quote from. Carl Augustus Menninger, and he says, fears are educated into us and can, if we wish, be educated out. I thought that was really interesting that, you know, early on when we're really young, we really don't have a lot of fears, uh, but right. a, a lot of the time our parents or the people around us, they're the ones who instill the fear in us we do something and they're like, no, 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 don't do that. And suddenly we're afraid to do that. You know, we, we don't, we don't wake up one day and we're afraid to touch the stove because it's hot. We, our parents teach us not to do that. Um, we don't wake up one day and think, oh, it's, it's scary to, I don't, I don't want to swim with sharks because that's scary. That's learned. <laughs> I, I think we, you and I, we should do that. <laughs> I think we should swim with sharks. <laughs> but uh, one, one other thing I wanted to mention um, that I've learned in the last little bit is that uh, we're, a lot of us were either risk tolerant, so we tolerate risk, or we are risk averse, meaning we, we don't want to go to a situation where we think it's risky or it's fearful or whatever. So each one of us has some kind of risk tolerance and some risk averse. 
And it really is up to us to decide, do we want to put ourselves in a risky or a fearful situation or do we want to just avoid that? You know, I, I, I believe that there are certain situations where it's healthy to face your fears. So just like you were talking about going down the slide, I kept saying, Jason, you need to do this. This is so fun. It's going to be your favorite ride. And that, that fear of the unknown, I guess, held you back. And once you did it, you're like, wow, this is, this is great. I can't get off this ride. So I do think that fear is very healthy. Uh, and we just need to decide how tolerant we are with it or how much we're just going to move on from it. Yeah, I wanted to, to maybe have, you know, everybody think for just a second about maybe trying the inverse of what our fears are, right? So say if you're afraid of what people might think of you or might think of the way your body looks, because uh, we oftentimes think about the way our body looks and, and we that we kind of let that fear kind of hold us back from certain things or whatever. Um, but I'd like to say, instead of focusing on uh, that, focus on your body acceptance focus on the fact that you are who you are and you're you are made this way and try to remember all the areas in your life that you do well at instead of focusing on that one thing or whatever try the inverse of of what that fear is um i'm not saying let's go swim with sharks <laughs> what i'm saying though is is maybe try to think the, the opposite of what that what the fear is that you have and hopefully that'll help. Yeah. So I'll make a deal with you. How about we swim with sharks and we'll be in a cage and they'll be, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we, we won't free swim. <laughs> yeah. <Go. laughs> you know, my, my last thought that I had, and you likely might have more, but my last thought that I wanted to share was uh, in some cases we get to a point and after our initial response subsides then we realize mm, it's not as bad as we thought maybe it maybe we did have some fear and that's okay that's a natural reaction but once we get once that subsides we realize the slide really isn't going to do anything to me it's not going to injure me really bad and i'm watching other people go down it so i could do it and you chose to push through that fear and and write it out so you know, that, that really often comes back to us and the choice that we have to make to either push through it or let allow it to push us away and then we don't do the thing that we want to do or might even enjoy. Yeah, and I, and I can say that, you know, my life is really better because of it. I mean, it's something I enjoy now and I enjoy doing it. Um, sure. I just have a couple more to talk about. Uh, not very much, but got a quote here um, from Franklin D. Roosevelt, and, and most people know this one, but it's the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. And I like that. I just wanted to add just a little bit of it and maybe say that we fear change as well. I kind of already mentioned that a little bit, that we sometimes, you know, fight against that change. And I think that might be part of that fear, too, is we're just afraid of what we might become or who we might become because of that thing that we're fearful. So just something to, to kind of put in the back of your mind to think about. Um, you know, we talked a little bit about, um, too, that fear is a good thing. And, you know, we learn not to touch a hot stove because our mom says, hey, whoa, wait a minute, don't touch that, it's hot. Right. Um, and, and so that, you know, just wanted to t briefly uh, talk about that again as well. Um, but we will never completely eliminate fear, nor should we try to. I no. think that, you know, if we try to eliminate it, it you, first of all, we can't because we're always going to have some kind of a fear of some type. And, and I don't think we should try to either. Um, mm -hmm. We should then learn to channel that fear. And I think that channeling it and focusing that fear towards something that will make our life better uh, will, will help. Um, and then I think I mentioned this to you earlier as well. But the difference is there's few differences between successful and unsuccessful people. And one of those is stepping forward uh, through fear and not letting it control you uh, as you face the unknown. And I think you kind of mentioned that, the unknown, right? It, I wasn't sure what that 
ride was going to feel like and was I going to be just free falling forever and yeah. uh, falling down a tunnel. Um, and then, and then my, you know, one of my last points is being afraid does not define your character, but what you do in the face of fear does. Um, and so that's kind of one of my last little topics that I want to talk about as well as we, we all deserve better in our life. Continue to push through those things as we push through fear and push forward with faith. I think we will see that we will be much better on the other side and a much better changed person. Yeah, for sure. You know, one last thought I just had was we all have fear and we, we all shouldn't feel like we have to go through this life or anything alone. We're here for each other. That's, that's the whole reason why we're doing this. Right. And so if you, if you're afraid of something and, and maybe you want to overcome that, you're more than welcome to reach out to us and privately, and we can certainly talk you through things. Um, but really you can, even if you're afraid to, to public speak, you could maybe spend some time in front of the mirror and, and practicing or things like that. And, and that will help you to push through that fear. We're not, we're certainly not saying you're going to eliminate fear completely. That's not what we're saying. Uh, we're saying you just, you have to learn that fear is healthy and natural. And for each one of us, we have to find those situations where we either push through or we say, yeah, it doesn't really matter. I don't have to face that fear. And that's okay. Perfectly okay. Yep. And I think uh, just to top it off, you know, we always have hope on the other side, hope that things will be better. Um, Absolutely. <laughs> of hope there is to just have that hope and faith, right? That it's going to work out and be, be for the better of yourself. Yeah, for sure. So thank you guys for tuning in for another episode with us. This is Sprinkled with Hope. If you liked this episode, please share it with a friend. If you like our podcast, please give us a review or rating.